how to create a professional PDF invoices for Shopify store. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a professional PDF invoices after you have set the sales or before and you can go ahead and send those invoices to your clients or to your subscribers. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to Shopify.com, sign into your account, and here we have the first step done. The second step is to go ahead to the search bar right there at the top of the dashboard, then type PDF invoices, PDF like that, invoices, and simply or invoice, and click on search this keyword in Shopify App Store. Click on it and then it will show up the app store and a lot of applications or extensions that has the same name we have sufio professional invoices vfi order printer pdf invoices and a lot of uh, application or as you can see and say also integrations go ahead and select one of these in my choice I am going to set Vifi order printer PDF invoice. Why? Because it has a very high rating, which is 4.9 over a 800 plus review. And also it is built for Shopify. And not to mention it has a free plan available. Go ahead and click on the app or the integration. Simply go ahead and read the specification and also the uh, features that it will give you take your time and when you finish click on install and after that go ahead and close this page and wait for the authorization of the app i will permit the or grant the authorization by clicking simply on install and in a few seconds it will be added in the app uh, right there section so go ahead and pin it and from there we are going to start the customization don't forget to click on pin to your navigation and here we have it pinned so we are not going to forget about this app the first step is to select the template you have the free and starter you have the premium templates and we have all i'm going to select free and starter so go ahead and select whatever pdf uh, as you can see invoice and go ahead and modify it for example this is the uh, selected template you can go ahead and click on preview and you are going to see it right there it has a very clean design and also layout it is very simple nothing is complicated and also the numbers and addresses are very very clarified if you like that, go ahead and simply click on uh, let it select it or click on select template. If you don't like it, go ahead and select any other template from these. I'm going to let this select it and click on next step. From there, we are going to configure the template. You can go ahead right there and add your logo. Simply click on logo and add the image. Let's go ahead and see whatever image that we have. In my case, I have a background free image, or I will go ahead with the white theme with this one. Let's say that this is our logo. It will be added right there. And for the width, you can go ahead and adjust it. You can lock or unlock the aspect ratio, and also you can go ahead and disable that logo. Now, for the color choosing, we have here the white or the transparent one. You can go ahead and put the red for the invoice words and also the lines as you can see or let it like that which is a black you can also put it as uh, like that this is the uh, the sky blue and this is it or you can go and set whatever you want from here you can also put a code color right there and we are here going to see the colors or the fonts you can adjust the font size and also put the font type for example here we have the roberto we can go ahead and put or the oswald for that this is more professional go ahead and set it 
and we have the order confirmation or information you can set the invoice number the order number you can add it and you will see here it, it has been added and you can add a custom order number custom invoice number purchase order number and etc you can also set the date and time and set also the order tax this is for the order information we have some customer information we have also this is for the starter and the premium pack the premium uh, the payment information the shipping information items information order total information and the subtotal you can add the tax the vat gs gst and etc here we have some extra information which is included for the thank you message for purchasing and finally we have the social information you can add a social page such as facebook google and etc go ahead and set the links right there and here we have the socials when you finish this simply click on next step is the store information go ahead and set the default language and you can auto detect the storefront language but it is a paid feature for the starter or the higher plan now you can go ahead and customize your store name. For example, it is set as my store. I'm going to set it as Jack, for example, Jack Smith, Smith like that store, put it right here. And here we have it. You can set the address, the company name, put it as the same as the store name. Just in my case, you can add a phone number, a email address, a postal code, a tax number, and a registration number. When you finish these steps, simply go ahead and click on a next step again. From there, normally you have to select a plan. We have three plans. The starter plan, which are, uh, are all of these three are paid plans. And also we have the starter pack, the premium pack, and the ultimate. Go ahead and read the features as brand and removal invoice edit email automation automation email with order tag filter and etc in our case which is the current plan go ahead and click on it as you can see it is set as a current plan so it will give you the option to click on continue as free we have the invoices ready and also we can see right there the orders that we have you can either print the orders, download them, or send the emails. When you click on send to the emails, you are going to see the invoice or send the invoice option. You can send the invoice to the customer by clicking right there, and it will automatically send the invoice by the name of the customer, the email address, and also the items that have been bought to your customer. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.